with me, Heather. Whee! Today I am going to be talking about my, I am starting a new series on my channel called Three Courses With, where I am going to just sort of give you my opinion on an author after I've read three different pieces of work by them. So today we are, I'm going to be diving in and discussing my three different courses with Patrick Ness. I have read The Rest of Us Just Live Here and The Ocean Was Our Sky and Release by him. So the one I, I've liked, okay, I'll preface this with I liked all of them. I enjoy his writing stuff, but I'm going to go with the one that have the least positive, not least positive, um, I have sort of meh feelings towards, sort of, I'm not blown away with it, but I'm not completely disappointed. And that was Release. Um, and so basically the tagline for this is sometimes the end of your world is the start of your life. So this follows your main character Adam as he goes through the course of a day. So this follows over the course of one day and it's sort of coming towards the graduation time. So it's over the course of one day we go through his life and sort of things unravel from there. Um, so Adam is just a senior in high school, I believe, from what I remember, he's a senior in high school and he's trying to just get through life um, with everything and um, there will be some spoilers in this as well, so I um, don't want spoilers about this particular book. Uh, release, wait until I put it down. Um, basically they are, he is the son of one of the uh, church ministers in the town and he's gay and it comes up to his family so he has to kind of comprehend and deal with that. But the thing that kind of baffled me was I was told that this was, or there was some, this was a contemporary. But where that confuses me is that we also follow the line of a fawn and his queen as she's been, she embod um, has embodied or been embodied. There's a murder, sorry. So the place that this confused me was that there's also a separate storyline that has very mythological, fantastical or supernatural elements to it where there is a young girl who has died in kind of questionable circumstances and she is being sort of reincarnated. She is the reincarnation of a Queen? Fairy Queen, I believe, because there's also a fawn that kind of turns up. So you bounce between Adam getting a release from his family of holding in the secret and being released from the town as he sort of moves forward and then young girl who was killed gets sort of a release in terms of closure of her death. So they both sort of go through and they don't, it happens kind of parallel to itself but then the two storylines only sort of converge in terms of location. There's no real interaction between the two storylines. So it was it was interesting. I dealt very nice, like I felt it dealt very respectfully with um, a coming out and a sort of aspect of that. So Adam, so that's that one. And I believe I gave this three stars, I believe. And the ocean was our sky. Yeah, this is a retelling of Moby Dick from the whale's perspective. So um, vastly different from release. I gave this five stars. I really enjoyed it. It came sort of a hunted, became the hunters and their, the whales are hunting for their white whale in terms of character at the end. They're hunting whalers. So it's all told from the whale's perspective. So the ocean, the sky being the up above stuff and then they come into contact with human, basically ransack their ships and hold one hostage basically. And then there's, she basically lives in a pod which is led by the almighty Captain Alexandra with their fighting and never ending war against men um, as it has always been and shall always be. The hunt is also beautifully illustrated as well. So I gave this five stars. It does, It's some very interesting concepts of morality and following the status quo of we've always, we've always hunted men and they've always hunted us but does that make us truly the monsters? and such like that so it's I found it a very interesting read and I really enjoyed it and I will come back to it and then probably my favorite Patrick Ness I read the rest of us just lives but the funny thing about this is it is similar to release in terms of there is a supernatural 
element wove or fantastical element woven through but there is more of a direct correlation between the normal kids and the sort of contemporary-esque uh, plot line in here and the fantastical elements. Uh, basically this is what the rest of us live here is um, not everyone has to be the chosen one. There's ones who are supposed to fight, go off and fight and stuff and what happens to the rest of them. So the way that I had this described and I've described it to other people is when Har when Aaron and Hermione are running around fighting Voldemort, doing all their bits and bobs, what's John Smith you see in like, or hear or well, see in like the big great, great hall scenes? Well, he's just going to class. He's just surviving. He's just living his best wizarding life. Um, but in terms of the co uh, correlation and existence between our main characters and the supernatural element is, um, it's quite, I think it's a, basically a satire on the chosen one trope, which I quite enjoy, um, which is chapter, it's all in the chapter headings effectively, which chapter the first, in which the messenger, messenger of the immortals arrived in a surprising shape and looking for a permanent vessel and after being chased by her, by her through the woods indie kid finn meets his final fate and then we just go on to kids who are just hanging out in the field and see finn we're not the chosen ones we know weird stuff happens in our town but no one really talks about it so it's sort of i gave this five stars i think it's really good and really funny um i was giggling through it um and yeah basically we're all just trying to live our best life and survive and three courses with patrick ness um i also do have a monster course on my shelf so that will probably be the next one i dive into um so yeah let's all help each other by what we consume and make a better world and a better pack in the world and thank you and goodbye